she is way but a psycho A little bit psycho And now she's screaming I'm I swear, like listen to the words and it sounds like it was made for her. And so months and months and months ago, I said, Sean, I wanna do this song, I wanna do the cover, I wanna do the tutorial, and I wanna do it dressed as Harley Quinn. And I held myself to my promise months and months later when we were finally able to put it all together. And here I am, dressed as my favorite character. I love her so much. Um, I, I figured you guys would turn this on and go, did she lose a bet? Is this a challenge? Nope. I just wanted to. I haven't gotten to cosplay in a long time because, you know, being stuck at home. But here we are, and I'm so excited. This is the intermediate slash advanced version of this tutorial. There's a beginner version as well. If you'd like to check that out, the link is down below. And let's go ahead and get started. So it starts right away with the words, and we don't start, like the song starts right away with lyrics. And let me tell you how hard that was to record. But this goes, Oh, she's sweet but a psycho, a little bit psycho, at night she's screaming. And that's what we hold. We start on the, um, 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 out, my mind. And it's going to go, you hold one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. One, two, three, four. That's the end of your hold. You start on five. It's chug, toe, toe, step, step, heel, heel. So it's a toe stand and then a cramp roll to come down. There is an alternative. If you don't want to do the toe stand, you can do step, step, heel, heel, toe. So you still kind of cascade down, but you do it a little bit differently. You start with the cramp roll and then you put your toes out. Just tap, tap, or you can do the toe stand. I'm gonna be doing the toe stand for the video, but you do you. So this is one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, one, two, three, four, five, and six, and seven, eight. It's really, really fast. It's five and six and seven, or five and six and seven, whichever one you're doing. So let's try that. Five, or one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. One, two, three, four, five and six and seven. Good. From there, you have two five count riffs. One and two and three and four. Then you have a riff front. Dig spank heel back and then another five count riff. So I like to call this five, five, front, back, five. Because what's happening is you're going twice with your five count riff, then you have a front riff, three count riff, then a back, you go dig, span, heel, and then five count riff again. And then you're gonna repeat the front, back, five. So you do the front back five twice. And remember, with the front, you go toe, heel, heel. On this one, you go heel, toe, heel. So just remember, you kind of go back the way you came with the riff part and then let the heel happen on the last count both times. So let's try from five count riff. You have five, five, front, back, five, front, back, five. Five, six, seven, eight. Heel, heel. 
heel toe toe, moving this way, starting with the right heel. So that's right, left, right, left. Then you have chug, chug, pull back. So that chug, chug is your prep into the pullback. So that last part you just did, front, back, five count, lift, heel, heel, toe, toe, chug, chug, pull back. Also, it's now coming to my attention how difficult this is to do in a corset, because this is a corset top, but if I pass out, at least it's on camera. Yeah, I'll be fine. I have danced in a steel bone corset before, and that, for a pirate event, that was something. I'll be fine. Sort of. So, let's do five count riff, five count riff, front, back, five count riff, front, back, five count riff, heel, heel, toe, toe, chug, chug, pull back. Let's try it. Five, six, seven, eight. right into it. Let's try that. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. One, two, three, four, five, and six, and seven, eight. One, two, three, and four, and five, and six, and seven, eight. One, two, three, and four, and five, and six, and seven, eight. All right, let's try it with music. So this version of the song, I slowed down to 90% original tempo just so that it's easier for us to learn. I want you to know that so that when you try it on your own later and it's super, super fast, that's what I did. So like, don't freak out. Just either move the tempo back down on the version that you're using or try it faster. Oh, she is way but a psycho, a little bit psycho, One, two, and now she's screaming oh. Not that eight count before it. So just know that when I'm walking back, it's going to be, oh, she's sweet but a psycho, and all that. And then when I count one, two, three, four, or one, two, three, four, then you go into chug, toe, toe, step, step, heel, heel. All right, let's try it again. Oh, she's sweet but a psycho, right. a little bit psycho, one, two, and then she's screaming, four. oh, my mom. first time because the first time I did not give you a good cue because I didn't realize I wasn't able to give you the eight count so this is our second time first time we we heard it we understood it now let's let's get more comfortable with it this time around oh she is way but a psycho Shuffle, heel, step, heel, step, heel. I love this step because it's so cutesy looking, but it doesn't have to be. Shuffle, heel, step, heel, step, heel, step. 
So let's try that together. We just did five, six, seven. It's really important to practice that transition, so let's do that real quick. I'll give you five, six, plie seven, pull back eight, go right into the shuffle heel. Ready? Five, six, seven, eight, one, two, three, four. Good, one more time. Five, six, seven, eight, one, two, three, four. Good. Next part, shuffle heel cross, shuffle heel out, shuffle heel side, ball change. It's basically just three shuffle heel ball changes and you don't want to add the fancy front side out thing. Don't worry about it, just do shuffle heel, shuffle heel, shuffle heel, ball change. You get the same point across, it just doesn't have the fancy movement. Totally fine. So, on this part, it's shuffle cross, shuffle back out, shuffle to the side, ball change. So your foot is essentially doing shuffle crossover, shuffle back to neutral, shuffle side. So it's going cross, back, out. So let's try that. Five, six, seven, eight. Cross, back, out. Again. Five, six, seven, eight. And cross, back, out. Good. So you had right into a ball change. It has a ball change at the end. Also, I completely said that wrong. I am so sorry. So let's try it again. Shuffle, heel, step, heel, shuffle, heel, step, heel, shuffle, cross, shuffle, back, shuffle, out, ball change. So add that ball change. Five, six, seven, eight. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. One more time. Five, six, seven, go. Good. Five, six, seven, eight. One more time, just to make sure we got that, and then I'll move on to the next part. Five, six, seven, eight. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Okay, so your right foot's free. This next part is waltz, clog, waltz, clog, step. So you have step, shuffle, ball change, step, shuffle, ball change, step. So it's just step, shuffle, ball change. Step, shuffle, ball change, step, shuffle, ball change, step. But it's quick. Step, shuffle, ball change, step, shuffle, ball change, step. One E and a two and a three E and a four. So let's try that. Five, six, seven, go. One E and a two and a three and a four. Make sure that you're facing this way and your weight is on your right foot at the end of it. Let's try it again. Five, six, seven, go. One E and a two and a three and a four. Good. From here, you have an arif cross over with your left foot. Spank cross. Put your weight on it. And now you're going to do a rhythm turn, heel, heel, toe, toe. So your left foot is leading this rhythm turn. It goes left heel, right heel, left toe, right toe. So you just did. Now you have rip, spank cross, rhythm turn starting with the left heel, 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 toe, and your left foot will end up being free again. Let's try that from waltz clock. Five, six, seven, go. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. So keep your feet nice and close together when you cross. Don't cross out here because you won't make it. You have to have it nice and close together. You don't have to worry about over crossing. And again, if you need help with that step, my step tutorial playlist is right down below. The rhythm turn is in that playlist and it'll teach you how to do that step. I swear you'll have it as soon as you watch the video. So, if you don't want to turn it, you can do heel toe, heel step. I'll give you that as an alternative. So you've got rip spank step, heel toe, heel step. So you just did rip spank step. You have heel toe, left to right, and then left heel again, and then step. And you end up in the same position with your left foot free. That's only if you want to. Don't worry about it if you don't. So let's go from waltz clog again. Five, six, seven, go. So 
go from shuffle heel, step heel, shuffle heel, step heel, into that, and then shuffle cross, shuffle out, shuffle side ball, change, then that line. Ready? Five, six, seven, eight. You can always slow this video down. <laughs> I didn't realize how fast it was. I will, I, I definitely did myself in on this one, but it's fine. It is so much fun. Let's try from shuffle heel again. Five, six, seven, go. without just, you know, going too fast, I guess is the phrase. You want to have clarity and intention with your rhythm when you're going super fast. And so I definitely want to challenge you guys to do that. So, and you can always slow the song down to whatever tempo you need, but this part is very quick. So your left foot is free. You have paradiddle, paradiddle, an actual paradiddle, Sorry, I don't know what happened I went. Okay. Paradiddle, paradiddle. Dig span heel. Shuffle heel. Toe heel. Paradiddle, paradiddle. Five count rip. But that five count rip is one, two, three, four, five. Very even. So that whole sequence is two paradiddles, an encroise sequence, two paradiddles and a five count rip. So let's go over that again. So two paradiddles. Dig span heel. Shuffle heel. Toe heel. Two paradiddles. Five count rip. So it goes paradiddle, paradiddle, 
big spin, heel shuffle, heel toe, heel paradiddle, paradiddle, one, two, three, four, five. And you'll hold eight. Trust me, it works. So we have five, six, seven, go. tutorial playlist. I promise. So this part you just did. Five count riff. You had back essence, back essence, five, six, seven, seven, So let's do that. Whether you're doing the inverted cramp roll or the regular, it doesn't matter. They sound the same. So ready? You have right foot three. Five, six, seven, eight. Just to make 
make sure that we have that, and then we will do it with music. Ready? So you just did five and six and seven and eight, and this starts right away. One and. So from parallel, five, six, seven, eight. Hopefully that's going well. Let's go ahead and give it a try with music, right? You can always rewind. You can always take a break. Always. <laughs> oh, she is way but a psycho. Right? A little bit psycho. And now she's screaming. Four. Is, is the last section. 
The good news is it's easier than the session we just did. This, this is the easiest one because it's a little slower, so it's nice. So, you just did fast, super hard, really, really fun. Now you're going to slow it down and go with that B, you know? Actually, it's that's the B. You're going to go with that one. One, two, and three, and four, five, six, and, and eight. So it's stamp, chug, chug, ball change, stamp, chug, chug, ball change. One, two, and, and three, really? And four. One, two, and, and four, five, six, and, and eight. Let's try that. Five, six, seven, eight. One, two, and. One more time. Then you have crimp roll, ball change. So it's a really, really fast crimp roll, but just separate your sounds. It's gonna be good. Crimp roll, ball change. Dig, dig, toe, toe, chug, chug. And that's on the words. It's you'll play a bop, bop, literally just bop, bop, Right on the words. So let's try that. Stamp, chug, chug, ball change, stamp, chug, chug, ball change, roll, ball change, big, 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 big. From stamp, chug, chug. Five, six, seven, go. One, one and two. It's really hard to count, but let's try it again because it's right on the words. Five, six, seven, eight. Okay, so this last part, you have step, spin, kill, step, spin, kill, step, spin, kill, step. So you have a step and then three drawbacks. Step, spin, kill, step, spin, kill, step, spin, kill, step. Then you have spin, kill, shuffle, heel, step, spin, kill, shuffle, heel, step. You have two Cincinnati's. Spin, kill, shuffle, heel, step, spin, kill, shuffle, heel, step. So that goes one, two, three. Shuffle, heel step, spin, heel, shuffle, heel step. So you start with the right foot. Let's just do that part. Five, six, seven, go. You finish it off. This is the last line of the whole thing. Stamp, stamp, pull back. Then ball change. Three pullbacks and a ball change. So if you don't want to do pullbacks, like if pullbacks are still on your to be learned list, you can always substitute a pullback with a cramp roll in any of my dances for the most part. You can always substitute it for a cramp roll. So if you're gonna do that, personally, once you have the pullback, the cramp roll is way harder. So just to get it even that fast. But this is gonna be one, You'll be saying yes, 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 because she messing with your head. That's the word. You'll be saying yes, 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 because she messing with your head. Okay? All right, so let's go from stamp, chug, chug, and put that whole ending together, and then we will walk through the entire thing. So stamp, chug, chug, ball change, that section. Five, six, seven, go. from the whole thing. Ready? Five, six, seven, eight.
Ready? So we have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. One, two, three, four, five, toes, go back, step, go, go, go.
this dance with me today. I had so much fun making the cover, making this dance, teaching it to you, and dressing like my favorite character. It has been so long since I truly fully cosplayed. I think the last time I wore this outfit was honestly for a TikTok, but before that, the last time I wore this outfit I think was like Pensacon? Maybe? I don't know. Some convention and I just had to wear it for like a minute. And it wasn't even the full outfit. I think it was just the corset. But I mean with pants. Don't worry. So anyway, thank you guys so much for joining me for this tutorial. <sighs> I have so much fun doing these two these tutorials for you. I love being your online tap teacher. And on that note, make sure that you subscribe by hitting the subscribe button and join the tap fam because we have so much fun on this channel. We have technique tutorials, we have step tutorials just like in that playlist below. We have choreography that you can learn it's just for fun. So much fun. And I have vlogs, I've got um, like tap advice vlogs, and I've got challenges, and I've got weird videos sometimes. I have some music videos, but only when they pertain to the piece that we're doing. So I did put out a music video for the cover that I made. Not so that I can go, hey look, I made a music video, but just so that if you like this version and want to use it, without worrying about, oh no, is somebody going to like copyright strike me? I won't. So the version is there for you to go, oh, I'll just pull it up on YouTube and use it. It is there for your use. So I put that out, now you have this, now you can put it together if you want. So, um, anyway, uh, if you're already subscribed, cool. Next thing, hit that thumbs up button. Hit that thumbs up button for Bento ruining my lighting. He's asleep. He is straight up asleep right now. I can't even be mad at him, he's so cute. But hit that thumbs up button, okay? Because it helps other tap dancers find this easier and it, you know, adds to the whole let's thumbs up for bento thing. Because somebody actually wrote thumbs up for bento in the comments and I was like, oh my god, bento, you got a thumbs up. And he didn't seem that excited, but I'm sure he was. He was eating. So, <laughs> um, I have so much fun doing these for you. Thank you guys so much for joining me. And as always, Thank you for dancing with me.